Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California. And today I'm gonna to talk about a coin called Akash and why I'm relatively heavily invested in it, at least from my standards, heavily invested. Um, I'm gonna start out with a disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I have any intention of rendering financial advice. This is it for educational, informational, and educational purposes only. As adults, we're all, including myself, responsible for our own investments. Um, there's six top coins that I'm going to be recommending pretty soon um, going into the 2024 bull run. And Akash Network symbol, which is ticker AKT, is one of them. Um, first, I want to apologize for not getting a video out in almost a week. The problem is my um, a good friend of mine, his car broke down, and I, I literally for three different, or th for three days had to drive him around town looking for um, parts. And I did write, I did write the you know, outline for the video almost like five days ago, but I just, I just haven't slowed down. And, and it was from like Tuesday to Thursday, I was driving around town looking for parts and um, for his car. And then he had to return it for, to do two different places. It was a cluster, but I'm just glad it's over and I'm glad he's on the road again. Um, I do that for friends, you know, I, I, I really dig deep to help them out when they're in trouble. Um, so that that's kind of what happened. And Friday I was gonna do it, but I got, I was just kind of wiped out. I, I had a lot going on that week and I just needed a day uh, to rest and chill out and have coffee with my friends and stuff like that. I'm sure you've been there. Um, so I'm gonna go into the token basics right now. Okay, Akash has a market cap as we speak of about 842 million. Um, its daily volume is about 13.6 million. So there's a lot of trading going on in this coin. It's currently ranked uh, number 99 on coin market cap. The cost per token at the time of this video is about $3.61. Um, Akash was launched in March of 2021 on the Cosmos uh, SDK. SDK stands for, for Software Development Kit, which just means it's built on the Cosmos platform. Um, so it's not its own independent chain, it's actually built on the Cos Cosmos. Um, however, it was founded in March 2018 by Overstock Labs which is a software development company formed by Greg Ozuri and Adam Basanich. Um, it, it's a proof of stake token, which means the value of the token secures their network. Um, without this token, there is no network. Um, it's also a governance token, meaning if you, uh, you own, they have, they've had votes from time to time. In fact, every aspect of ACOSH is open, including community development. It's an open source and the community development is open. It's, an, it's, it's open as well. Um, they've issued 280 proposals so far. So if you're involved in Akash, you might receive notifications from time to time to cast your vote. Um, so the mission of Akash, it's the world's uh, premier decentralized, decentralized compute marketplace and the Airbnb of renting computer space. Basically what they do is if you have any remnant, like if, if you have any remnant computer space on your computer, you could sell it to Akash, and they'll they'll pay they'll pay you for it, and then they'll um, they'll basically rent it out to other people to use your space, or they'll use your space and rent it out to other people. Is basically how it works. Um, compute is the lifeblood of artificial intelligence, machine learning. So this is an AI play. This is and this is why I'm in it, not just because it's an AI play, because I think it's going to be one of the biggest con contributors to the bull run um, that's coming up right now. Um, so. So um, it's the world's first decentralized super cloud is what it is. They were the, these are the people that actually invented the super cloud. Um, they're an open network that allows users to buy and sell computing resources securely and efficiently. They are democratizing access to cloud GPUs. Um, lots of people need to use Akash right now. There's a huge amount of demand and a massive shortage of supply. Um, Akash is an incredible solution to this issue by allowing the market to tap into previously untapped and wasted compute resources uh, sitting idle all over the world. I mean, people like you and me have computers and we only use a, maybe a very small amount of our, our allocated um, space or bandwidth or whatever, and uh, or, or storage capacity, and Akosh could actually take that from us and, and you know allow someone else to use the space we don't use, basically. Um, it's a multi-purpose uh, built project that will further enhance public utility. There's a lot of public utility in this token. It's not just, uh, I mean, there's real, there's real tech behind this project. Um, Akash network consists of three different components. Number one, the providers who basically manage the in infrastructure in the, in the 
Kubernetes clusters. A Kubernetes cluster basically is, is a cluster that allows for applications to be more easily developed, moved, and managed. So that's part of what they do. The other part of what they do um, is the Akash network, which is a versatile platform similar to Airbnb for data centers that offers cost efficiency, choice, and standardized resources, um, open source principles, and community involvement. Number three is Akash tenants. These are deploying apps like as such as Docker containers benefiting from decentralized deployment. A Docker container image is a lightweight standalone executable package of software that includes everything needed to run an application. Um, so these, the, these are the three groups of people from the Akash Networks Foundation. Um, they also have data centers. Right now there's about 8.5 million data centers all over the world that have extra space that can be rented to others. Um, Akash takes this uh, unused available capacity in all these data centers and creates a super cloud that connects private and public clouds in a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized manner. There is no single entity that controls this layer. Uh, the co-founder Greg uh, boasts uh, significantly lower costs and much easier access to resources um, that, that were impossible to get to earlier like GPUs for AI. Um, the user and provider have complete control over the system. Um, they recently launched something, a website called Akash ML, and ML stands for machine learning. So it, there's a website called Akash Machine Learning that they just launched. This makes it easy for companies who need access to the compute on Akash uh, to, to rent out high-end GPUs on the Akash marketplace. This is their new marketplace where they rent out GPUs like the NVIDIA H100 or the RTX 4090. For example, the cost might be 50 cents per hour, and you can pay for you can pay for this storage space per hour as you need it with um, AKT tokens, Akash tokens. Akash ML is a fully permissioned front end that's built on the Akash protocol. I took a look at the website, and it's basically like a shopping cart format. You just go pick the you know the size and space of the GPU usage that you need and how long you need it for, and then you pay for it and then you use it. Um, so the, let me go over the long-term roadmap of Akash. Um, their long-term goal is to parity with the cloud, to, to, to obtain parity with the cloud. There are two essential phases, pre-parity and post-parity. Um, they admit, you know, the, um, Greg, the, one of the co-founders of Akash admits that Akash is powerful in certain ways, like with GPUs, but they admit they have other cloud issues they need to work out before they reach their full potential. So the owner himself isn't like like saying, oh, we're the best, no one could beat us. They're saying we're very good, um, but we have a long, we have ways to go. We have goals we still need to meet. Um, and, and they're working hard on, on the, this goal as they speak. Right now, the centralized cloud offers orchestration, automation, and other features uh, that the cloud offers that, um, a, 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 excuse me, Akash doesn't quite offer yet, but they want to offer these. Um, at this time, they're not ready to work with Walmart, in other words, but they think in a couple of years they can achieve that, where they can work with anybody and they'll have everything they need in place. Um, their first goal is to get parity. Um, their second goal is to get uh, to post parity, which means innovation beyond imagination. Um, they, want, they want to be able to get the average home and start renting out space on their computers to the public. People like you and I that have computers that have a bunch of extra space to rent out that's that's what they, who they want to get to they want to get to gamers um, you know and, and people like us so for example if someone only plays games once a week they have a lot of computing power that they're probably paying for but they're not being but it's not being used um, this is where AI and computer storage will go to the next level five percent of the global GDP will be spent on compute resources by 2030 this is why I'm talking about this coin because the, this is the real, the real part of why I'm talking about this coin here. Because only five, I'm going to repeat this: only five percent of the global GDP will be spent on compute resources by 2030. The only way Akash can achieve this goal is by looking forward and taking advantage of all the unused computer space they can. So they're dying to work with new people, and um, the goal of Akash is to get there by solving these these critical problems. So when they can start expanding their network by hundreds of thousands or millions of people. Um, the potential of this thing, thing, I mean, they could literally 50, easily 50 to 100, 100x their, um, their, um, 
they can uh, their 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 market value because I mean they're going to be serving you know a lot more people. Um, Am for example, Amazon's uh, GPUs are, are centralized, and very few of their uh, service centers are scattered in uh, different locations. Um, they they suffer from a, a latency issue. So, because Akash is decentralized and all over the world, there's less latency between Akash and the end user. So the one thing they do have going for it is there's no latency issues right now. And they if they can make up and, and get more and more people, their network's going to grow and they're going to be a much stronger um, system overall. Uh, the stronger they are, the more secure their network's going to be, basically. Um, or, I mean, the bigger they are, the more secure their network's going to be. And Akash can make um, any computer a data center or provider. They can also aggregate memory from different computers and assign it to one user due to the decentralized nature of their system. So with, with their... Um, 10,000 regions that they already have, this is massive potential. They can build on this and, and, and eventually work up to a thousand or a million or tens of millions of regions over time. So that, that means their market cap's gonna increase, I'm not gonna say it's gonna increase 10,000 or something, but it could easily increase 50 to 100 without any problems once they start achieving parity in the marketplace and, and just go forward with what, what they got. One, let me go over one of their short-term goals to put things in a little more perspective so you can kind of understand both ends of the spectrum. Uh, Greg Asuri says token incentives are the definite short-term goal. So what they want to start doing is offering token incentives. That's why if you own this coin, uh, I don't know if, if that means staking rewards or just incentives for buying the token. I think they mean staking rewards, but it, it's going to put them in a different playing field when it comes to supply and create exponential growth. They already know this and they're working on a system for that right now. So, you know, the sooner you get in, the sooner you'll you know, you'll you'll benefit from when all this stuff starts taking place. He feels Akash can become the undisputed leader in their space once this program comes to fruition because of the rapid growth rate that'll happen. And that's kind of what I was just saying, basically. So the current market cap, like I mentioned earlier, is about 842 million. They have a max supply of 388 million coins. The, these tokens are slowly dripped onto the market through minor rewards. Um, Akash will do well this cycle simply based on the EI narrative. By the end of this cycle, it could easily hit a market cap of 10 billion. Um, that would be about a 12x from what it is from here, and I, I would call that a base hit token. Um, I think this is a long-term token. I don't think this token is going to make you wealthy over four years, but it could it could make you a 12x. It could even make you a 15, 20x. It just that depends because. The 12x could be just based on user case, but you have to also understand when Bitcoin pumps, all the alts pump as well. And you add that into the 12x that Akash could make just on user case, and it, it could probably it could 20x. I mean, it, it's it's what I, it's what I call a good base hit. So if you put, you know, like I personally uh, plan on putting about three grand in there, I'm going to consider that what they call a heavy position. Um, I'm going to have about seven or eight heavy positions, and that this is going to be one of them. Um, so I'm going to go over how to buy a Kosh. Okay, the only U.S. Well, they I, they just started offering on a coin a Coinbase. I'm glad I put this video out now in a sense because they just started offering it on Coinbase. I believe just a few days ago because I didn't see it on there over a week ago when I checked. Um, so they also offer it on Kraken, and I'm pretty sure they offer it on Uphold, and and, and those are three U.S. exchanges that I know of that offer it. Um, Right now, like I said, it's about $3.60, give or take a coin. Um, and I plan on DCAing until I reach about 3000 which I consider a heavy position, like I said before. And I currently own 423 Akash tokens, so I'm about halfway there. I plan on, I'm planning on DCAing probably until I get closer to 1000 because this is a good play for the long run. And, and I really like the, lo the wait and hold type coins because I like the idea of just getting on with my life, forgetting about it, and checking it three years later and you know it's 15 times what it was right so i guess that's really about all for this video it's a good ai play for the 2024 bull run it's one of my top six picks uh, and that doesn't count quant and chain link those are other top picks as well but these are my top six picks that i specifically are calling top six picks for this bull run and um so i'm going to put the others out as soon as i can i'm back in i back in back on track doing things now um, I'm back from my little break. Um, so if you like this video and it taught you anything, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, click the notification bell so you can be advised of um, anytime I re 
see the new follow-up, you'll get an automated notification. And um, if you would, please leave a comment and um, like the video. Um, your comments always generate interesting dialogue. Thanks, and uh, have a good day. And I will be in touch with my next video, hopefully within a couple days. Ha have a good one. Take care. Bye.